Hi guys, welcome to Expertizer Civil 3D Training. So now in this lesson, what we're going to see is see uh, how to customize a point table. Uh, pretty much create a one style, add a new column, add a property to the column, change the heading, the title, the color of the grid, whole lot of stuff. All right, let's get into it. So first thing is uh, for anyone who is um, who's new to this training, you can watch all my previous training in the playlist and the exercise files. You can get it from the description box. All right. So now I'm going to get started. Click on open. And then it's going to be seven table customization. So it is going to be seven table customization start. Click on open. So this is basically the exercise file from the previous lesson. So you can see the points as pair. We got the points and we got the tables which is created from the one of the point group which is trees, which is perfect. So now what we're going to see is we're going to see how to customize this particular table style. Um, you pick the table and then you get the ribbon on the top. And the very first thing is you can click on the drop down and you can go to the table properties where you can change the table style. Good. But what if you want to create something custom and we want to change something from the existing style. So you got two options. You go to the properties and you can click on the drop down here and you can click on edit that will edit the current style, current style or another one is you can make a copy. So always if it's a default style, always make a copy rather than editing it. Um, it's a best practice. So I'm going to make a copy. So I'm going to give some initial at the beginning and then uh, remove this one and then you can give in a description as well who created it so those things are all fine so next one is if you go to the data properties tab uh, you can do a whole bunch of other things here so first is you can enable wrap if the text is too long it will automatically wrap uh, the reason being is um, uh, sometimes the column width which you see here it may not be set to automatic. So if it's set to automatic, generally it extends till the end of the content in a particular cell. Uh, if it is not set to automatic and if you specified a fixed width value, then uh, this wrap will help you out to make the uh, cell accommodate a bigger value. All right, and I may maintain the view orientation and repeat the title if, it, if the table has been split. Uh, that's, uh, that's because what happens is we specify this table to have uh, 20 rows so if it has more than 20 rows what it does is it automatically creates a next table right next to it and then add the 21st row onwards into the second table in that case you will have a title the same title repeating on the second table as well so you get a continuity and repeat column headers as well so that means on the second table if it's a continuous table it will actually get the headers from the first table as well and uh, so next is your uh, textiles so this is a textile we're using it for the title and this for the heading and this is for the data um, so you can actually change the height of them which basically coming from um, the textile but you can override it here as well and sorting column and then ascending to descending so this is all the basic things you can set it up and the next thing is let's say if i want to edit my table title so you can double click on this one it will take you into the component editor and you can go and you can edit it. So I can say this is my project A hyphen and uh, it's my point table. So I can even select it and I can go and change the color. Easy. So yeah, you can customize it, you can add an underline, you can do all that. Um, so once you're happy, click OK and you get the title. Similarly, you can double click on the headings as well and you can go and change the headings okay so that's how you change your headings and for any column if you want to change the property value you can double click on the column value cell and then it will take you into the component editor and you can insert a new property okay for adding a new column click on the plus sign here this will add the new column so my suggestion is add always uh, the property first and then go and type in the header because sometimes you might be very ambitious and you type something as a header but if the property doesn't it, it doesn't exist then you know you, you can't use it so just go and check what are the properties that's available add it first and then come to come and add the header so i'm going to double click on the cell value cell under the column and then there is a whole bunch of properties so i'm going to choose locked point i'm going to click on 
this little arrow button to add it I go to format I can change the color here we go click OK and then I'm gonna write uh, sorry double click on the header and I'm gonna say it's gonna be lock status I can even change the color for this one as well and then click OK click OK here we go so we get the new table so now if I actually go to and expand my point groups select trees I see a bunch of points here I can select any point right click and then I can click on lock it automatically updates the status so which is nice so now how do we change the color uh, you can select the table and you can go to the drop down and this time you don't have to go and um, into the table properties to get to the style you can directly click on edit table style it will directly take to that particular style and then you can go to display tab and uh, now you can see all these layers are basically all these objects are basically controlling the color of the table like the border the title separator header and all this information so I can actually go and say um, I can even put put all this stuff into one layer and set it as by layer and if you change the layer color it will automatically change the table color so I'm gonna do it for a couple of things here so you can uh, get some idea so first is uh, the title so I'm going to um, uh, put into a new layer so I'm gonna select it I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna give this one uh, table title yeah I'll leave it a green should be fine click OK and I'm gonna set this to by layer okay and uh, the header do the same thing oops new layer so this is gonna be ex table header change to a different color click OK click OK and set it to by layer alright so that's enough so once you're happy you can also set the same thing for the model space as well and uh, yeah click OK so now what you do is if you go to your home tab if you click on this drop down <coughs> So you'll see the EX layer. So if you if it's too hard to find it from the list, you can go to the layer properties manager. Click on all and then search. We can type in EX asterisk is a wild card. And then you get the EX layers. And um, <coughs> so what you have here is we have two layers here. So one is for the header, another one is for the title. So I can actually select the color. I can change to a different color and it automatically updates uh, color of the header. The reason this color doesn't change is we overwrite uh, the, the color which is coming from the layer within the style and that's why this color doesn't change. Same thing we can do it for the <coughs> title as well and since we overwrite the title color within the style it's not going to change. Alright so that's, uh, that's how we customize the table style and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah keep uh, watching more videos and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thanks man.